Hi guys, welcome back to Velia the Blog. Today I'm very excited because this past weekend I had the opportunity to attend the Hispanic Art Works Convention here in Kansas City, hosted by Vania Soto. Vania Soto did an amazing job bringing together over 20 local artists to showcase their work. In addition, she also had an artist who was responsible for creating the character El Diablo, who you may already know through the movie Suicide Squad. It was a great event, it was a huge success, and I hope you enjoy the video. Second annual art convention. My first convention was in Union Station last year, and this year uh, we decided to do it a little bit more urban feel, so we decided to do it downtown here in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, but I have 22 artists, 23, including myself. Um, so I want to help the community and the artists treat their work as a small business, as an entrepreneur. Um, treating their art in that way so I decided to get the chamber involved because that's what they're about it's just entrepreneurship so I'm trying to marry the two um, a lot of artists have the creative side of their brain and their business side of their brain and not always do they connect so I'm trying to kind of help that happen um, but yeah so far it's, it's been so much fun I've you know all the artists that I've met in Kansas City I think um, I've been trying to reconnect with them so they can get more involved in events like this so they can just give them another chance for the community to support as well. Hi, my name is Debra Moreno and I am a painter, portrait artist and caricature artist. I've been doing this work for uh, caricature work for about 20 years and of course painting for over 30 years. I have the Julieta Venegas and that one is an oil painting. That one takes a little bit longer because the oil painting is done in layers. Uh, and then the El Buki, uh, Marco Antonio Solis. I did that one night when I was listening to his music. And so I, I, I was already laying down in bed and I got up and I started painting it and I finished the actual portrait in one night. And then I did the background the following day. Este día es especial porque de hecho la organizadora de este evento es, es mi novia, so estoy muy orgulloso de ella y eh, todo esto significa mucho para la comunidad hispana porque necesitamos más, necesitamos alimentarnos más de lo que es nuestra cultura eh, de todos los países latinoamericanos, tenemos mucha riqueza en lo que es Todo con lo que crecimos, lo que nuestros padres, nuestros abuelos nos enseñaron. Entonces, para mí es muy importante ser parte de todo este evento. Hi, my name is Celia Ruiz, and we are here at the Latino Art Convention. I think that's probably not the specific name, but sponsored by Vania Soto and the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce here in Kansas City. And this has been an amazing experience. Um, just kind of want to share with you some of my art. Um, I've been drawing it since a very early age. It's always started off with like doodles and permanent markers. I drew all over my hands. I remember doing that in school. I drew all over my, um, you know, my classmates' hands and arms. And I remember getting in trouble for just all of that doodling. And so just to kind of grow up and expand that doodling into something extra, you know? And so then maybe, um, you know, it's not the biggest and the best art, you know, that, that's available, and, you know, out there. But, you know, the important thing about art is that you're expressing those things that no one else, you know, has your words for. You know, this is something that you express and something that you feel. That it doesn't matter how many times I came home to mariachi music from my mom, that that was not the only thing that was Latino to me. That there were, that you could read Marquez and that you could read Juno Diaz and that you could see uh, Latinos on television or see them in movies. And very, very, very infrequently as time went on, and that was really important to me that when I got a chance when I was writing Batman that DC Comics said you can do whatever you want to do, what would you do? And I said I grew up without any Mexican superheroes. I grew up without anybody to root for. And they said, what would you do? And I said, I want to make uh, this character El Diablo who's a drug dealer. And they go, well, that's not what I'm a superhero. And I said, I know, but 
his powers will make him do the right thing. And I want to represent by having this character be my cousin Jaime. I want him to be this thing that I've seen every day in my life. And it failed. It failed badly because at the time no one was ready for that. And when Suicide Squad came about, uh, David Ayer, the director of the film, he grew up in East Los Angeles. He was the only white guy surrounded by Mexicans his whole life. And when he said he took the job for Suicide Squad, he said, where's my Mexican that I can put in the movie? And they said, it's El Diablo. He said, perfect, done. So that's why when you watch the movie Suicide Squad, El Diablo is a realized character who grows and changes and has a character arc because that's where David started the movie. And I said, when I, I, they took me to Toronto and I got to see the film and I got to watch them shoot the movie, and I kind of pulled him aside and I said, thank you, thank you, because I grew up without any Mexicans to root for on the big screen. And he said, my wife would have killed me if I didn't. So that's why we get to have Latinos in art is that his wife would have killed him if, she, if he hadn't done that. And it's so nice to have this be a massive uh, outpouring that there's a $400 million marketing campaign that has a tattooed Latino cholo in people's living room. That's so crazy to me that I had, that, 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 that is happening. But because Warner Brothers is such a big company, they're pumping that down America's throat. And thank God that there are kids coming up to me in Atlanta and Tulsa and Chicago and New York dressed as El Diablo. And I get to say, wow, you have somebody to root for because I didn't. And that's my fault that you get to paint your face like that. <laughs> but, but I want everybody, I want to seriously say from the bottom of my heart, thank you all for coming out. Thank you for coming and putting this together. Thank you for supporting all the different, different versions of Latino culture that we have here in this room today and in Kansas City. Thank you so much. Mi nombre es Luis Merlo y hago arte digital o vector art, que se le llama. Es un arte creado en un programa de computadoras que se llama Ilustrador y la mayoría de mis cuadros están hechos como arte digital. Por ahí tengo algunos que están de arte tradicional y este, también tengo lo que es la línea de las Lolas, que es una marca que creamos entre Héctor Pérez y yo, que son unas calaveritas de azúcar, este, unos personajes que son calaveritas de azúcar que volvieron al, a la vida, muñecas catrinas que son este, tradicionales de México y están hechas de papel, están hechas todas a mano y desde la caja de cartón y eh, las etiquetas y todo, es diseño original de Héctor Pérez y mío, yo le ayudé con eso también y estamos por sacar también camisetas de los mismos cuadros que tenemos y, y pues estamos aquí en Kansas trabajando desde hace como, bueno él tiene como 8 años, yo tengo ya como 6 años que empecé a trabajar con esto y este, tenemos a, algunas exposiciones, por ejemplo ahorita estamos exponiendo en Matty Rhodes donde tengo cuatro de mis cuadros y el altar principal de, del Matty Rhodes. Que... Hola, buenas tardes, yo soy Héctor Pérez, este, soy un artista hispano, trabajo con el acrílico casi siempre y mi arte está enfocado en, en las raíces mexicanas que tengo y en, en la cultura mexicana más que nada también a veces un poco en, en mi arte a veces es un poco oscuro pero me, me gusta todo lo referente a, a la muerte y a, y a la imaginación también Hi, my name is Colette Santiago I'm representing my dad Alberto Ngay This is his artwork He has two different styles One realist This is Madre y Patria, Mother and the Homeland. And this is another one, Rem. This is an oil and canvas. This is his realist style. This is his older style also. His new style has a more color powerful um, and more modern feel to it, as you can see right now. We are uh, both, we're from Puerto Rico, and I'm, I've been living here for four years. He's still back in the island. He also has some other exhibits over there. That's why he didn't make it today, but I'm still representing him. Thank you. Hola, mi nombre es Abel Ullón. Soy de Paraguay, cantautor, y hoy estoy aquí en el... Hispanic Art Event de Bania Soto y voy a estar cantando a, las, a partir de las 3 y media 
canciones propias y también covers. Me estoy presentando en varios restaurantes de, de Kansas City y pueden hacerme follow en Facebook, Abelu John Music, y en el Instagram como Abelu John. Gracias. Do you or someone you know have a great event coming up or have an amazing story to tell? If you would like us to cover the story, contact us for more details at the address listed on the screen. <laughs>